Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be taking a quick look at how we can make our AI a little bit smarter because as of right now you can see when you walk around them to the side of them they are just going to keep standing there in one place, they don't, very, they don't look very realistic. They will only move if you run in front of them. So what I'm going to be showing you is how you can get them to move to a random point in your level if they cannot see the player. That way it's going to look like they are running around and they are searching for the player. And we are going to be keeping the logic so if they do come across you while moving around to these random points in the level, they will chase after you. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how you can set this up. So first things first, you want to open up your simple AI blueprint, which contains all of the logic and all of the blueprint for your AI enemies. Now, if you go all the way down to your blueprint over here, where we created AI move to and all of this stuff to tell it to move to the player if they see the player, we are going to be extending from this to create a system whereby, like I said, it's going to move to a random point. So what we're going to be doing is running a check every couple of seconds, checking to see whether or not the, play, uh, the AI is already moving, and if it isn't already moving, we are going to tell it to move to a random point within our level. So let's go ahead and set this up. So first things first, we are going to use the event tick node to run this check. From this event tick, because it's every frame, we want to set a delay to this. So basically we're doing this check every two seconds. From here, what we're going to do is run a check using branch to check to see whether or not moving, uh, you know, the AI is already moving. We just need true or false. And the way we're going to be doing this is using a variable. On the left hand side, add a new variable with the boolean type. And we're just going to set the name of this to is moving just like that. And then drag this in and get a reference to it and hook it up to your condition for your branch. With this, now if the AI is already moving, if true, if it's true, we don't really want it to do anything. If it isn't already moving, we want to tell this to use AI move to, and then from this, we have got to fill out this information to determine where we're going to moving this, be moving this AI to. Starting off from the top, we have got the pawn. We are already within an AI blueprint, so we are simply going to get a reference to self and make sure this is hooked up to pawn. For the destination, this is where we're going to be getting the random location. There's a really simple and really easy node to do this inside of Unreal Engine 4. So what you're going to do is simply type in get random point and you can see we've got two things, get random point in navigatable radius and get random reachable point in radius. Now the difference between the two of these, reachable means one that it's actually going to be able to get to, so it's not going to be placing you in a tree, in a rock or something like that, whereas the one above is going to just take you to a random radius essentially, uh, regardless of collision and stuff, so just go for the bottom one and then from this, we've got to put in a few more bits of information. First things first is the origin point. This is using radius, so it's a circle. They basically need to know what the center point of that circle, that location radius can be. Easiest way to do this is just type in get actor location, and we are going to tell this to move within a radius of its current location. For the radius, this is to basically just the size, so what we're going to do is simply type in a thousand. I know that is enough, um, a nice little distance for the AI, and I know it's not too close, because if you set this to something like, say, 50, and then press play, you're going to see it's going to be making baby steps, or it's not going to be moving at all. So what we want to do is set this to something nice and high, like 1000 and then if we press play you should see that it starts moving and they're going to be moving quite a distance which is quite nice now you can also see it's going to chase me and that's fine however sometimes they won't always see you or they'll give up chasing you and they'll just continue so we've got to set up a system whereby it's going to continue to do it and we've also got to tell it whether or not it's moving already, so it doesn't continue to do these random things. 
So what we're going to do is between this branch and between the AI is simply tell, tell it to set is moving to true. So once it started moving here, it's not going to try and change the course again. And we've also got to do the same thing if it's already chasing it from actually seeing the player. So what we're going to do is set is moving to true up here. And then at the end of these, we are pretty much going to be telling it to stop moving once it's done what it needs to do. So the random point, if it hasn't seen the player on success or on fail of moving to that location, we're going to tell it to set is moving to untrue and do this for on success and on fail. And then at the top here, because we don't want it to lose sight of the player, what I'm gonna do is on success and on fail is run a delay, a delay of half a second, so 0 0.5. Same goes for this. And then what we're gonna do is simply tell it to continue moving to that player's location. So if we compile this now, press play, we are gonna have some pretty solid AI. So when they see you, they're not going to stop chasing you. They're going to continue and they're going to continue until you kill them pretty much. And you can just stand there and you can kill them. Now, bear in mind, it's going to look a lot better when we have these with weapons and all kinds of good stuff. Um, but for now, we have got our AI looking a little bit smarter. That is the important thing. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much everything for today's video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.